like when I was 17, um, I decided to go to Lourdes on a church trip to help the old people. The ulterior motive was my friend went a year before and told me she drank all the time and she lost her virginity. Uh -huh. But what I didn't remember is Rachel was pretty, blonde haired, and I was a nerdy girl with little pigtails who probably wouldn't get a shag, but I went anyway. So I get on the train, excited, there were some cool indie boys there, better for my provincial town. And somehow, insanity took over. I bought a bottle of martini to deal with the train trip. So I get on the train thinking, oh, I'm just gonna drink it, I've gotta talk to people, I'm really nervous. And suddenly, the bottle goes down, down, and down. Next thing you know, I'm in a coma somewhere, and they say, there's a fire on the train. Get the fuck off, and I've got to help people. But I'm the one who was taken off the train. I should have been pushing wheelchairs. And I think I fell in some nettles. And somehow, when I wake up, but I don't remember any of it, I got the whole story that the train was on fire, but I was the one who had to be saved. And not the people going there to be saved by the Virgin Mary. And it was hideous. The worst hangover I've ever had in my life. I think one point I thought it was raining, but it was actually my vomit on the window. <laughs> and the whole thing was hideous. Anyway, I got over the terrible, terrible hangover, got to Lewis, did my little duty with a little blue apron, pushing around the old ladies. But the worst thing is, in every single mass, which I went to three or four times a day, Every time the priest brought up was young people and alcohol. And everyone's looking over at the little geeky girl with the pigtails and the glasses. And I held my head in shame. But I was a good wheelchair pusher. <laughs> and that's the whole point. Um, but anyway, the whole thing finished. It was traumatic. I still remained a virgin. I did drink a lot of beer. I had a holiday without my parents, which was a good thing. And the moral of the story is, I returned back and I was like, I've learned two things from this trip. I think my relationship with God is now finished. <laughs> it's just too judgy, can't deal with it. And also, I have never ever in my life touched a martini again. Ha, 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 ha.